Hi guys, this is a soldier montage. I just picked up the widow, and I'm I'm just want to show you how this is not the, this is not just the most powerful sniper rifle in the game. It's the most powerful gun in the game fast, with the right Hostiles bonuses, uh, with the right choices. Now, I'll get I'll talk a little later after concentrate now, but uh, I'll just show you, Trouble give ahead. you an idea of how powerful it is. Missed. No, I didn't miss. Now, Harbinger becomes a joke with this rifle. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. You can two-shot him. Watch this. Eh. Just the thing to help. You can also three-shot a Skyan. Basically. Um, I'll take care of the Skyan later, but... Uh, I missed. That was not good. Wasting ammo with this weapon is really bad. Um, you don't want to miss with this weapon, ever. And you always want to snipe with, uh, with adrenaline rush going. I mean... It's just... It's just such a powerful weapon, it, it, it really is just insane how powerful it is. Uh, I hate those guys. But anyway... Uh, I guess I'll finish him off... Uh, Three shots, like I said, with heightened adrenaline rush. Now, just an insanely, insanely powerful gun. So I didn't get a headshot in the collector assassin, so yeah. So I've run out of ammo, that's the one thing that happens, unfortunately, with, uh, this gun. Fortunately, the soldier has lots of other guns to, uh, compensate, so... It's, uh, it's not the end of the world if you run out of ammo. By any means. Alright, that could have been done a lot more smoothly, I admit, but... But you saw the power, I mean, in one instance I two-shotted uh, Harbinger, I three-shotted the Skyan, Scion, uh, it's... See how much... Uh, it's just... It, kind, it almost makes it kind of boring playing with the soldier in a way, because you're just so powerful with it. But, um... Yeah, so I'll show some other uh, the other battles with the with the uh, the widow, but basically, as my main point is that it doesn't make a difference for the the infiltrator, a huge difference whether you take the widow or you stick with the mantis or whatever. The soldier with the widow is it's a different story. It's so powerful, as I showed. I'll try to give some better instances in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, welcome back to another <clears throat> episode of my little soldier montage with the widow. Uh, a lot more targets here, some more maneuvering room, but you, you see I'm still pretty much a back player with the Widow, but just some more power power shots, really. Ah, uh, see, so he, turn, he turned into, uh, what's his face, so... I missed, that's really bad. Missing with the Widow is a bad thing, in general. You don't have a lot of ammo. You don't want to miss. Rest.
I'm also using other weapons, as you can see. There's no point in wasting ammo the Widow when you can basically deal with most of the enemies with your assault rifle. Um, it's just pointless. See, I can't get that guy. Oh well. And you'll notice I use I use other weapons as well. Uh, see, this is not good. Being this close to Harbinger is not a good thing in my opinion. But fortunately, with the widow, it should be okay. Uh, not good. This is really not good. <laughs> you don't really want to use a sniper rifle at that range, to be honest. But uh, sometimes it happens. And... Yeah, but you saw the power. I mean, even when I was stuck at, at that super close range there, I too shot at Harbinger. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm the first one to admit I'm not the best sniper. There are people, do, but always try to use adrenaline rush, heightened, uh, in my opinion, and uh, try to get those headshots in. You'll see the difference in the damage output. So break 